Must feel good. Sitting here comfortable. What do you want? Your secrets. Your weapons. I'm gonna burn it all. This ends today. You need a hero. Black Panther. You need a hero. Ready PG-13. What is going on guys? Quarantine coming at you with another little movie review. So I got Zoom as up. So today we're here to do another movie review. Yes, I'm pretty much just done these reviews back to back because I have the same shirt on so that I'm only changing my hat because that's what I do. But you know, I don't care. I'm just going to keep doing what I do and what I do best. But thank you guys for tuning in today at The Crow Show. We're here to talk about the next big addition to the Marvel Universe. And this movie is just amazing overall. It was the best I ever saw in a Marvel movie. Like, I have not seen... A Marvel movie this good since Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Or Spider-Man Homecoming, because Spider-Man Homecoming was really great. But this one definitely takes the cake. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Black Panther. Um, so Black Panther is pretty much a character um, who's got a suit made. Vibranium is stronger than steel and a third the weight. Which is the exact same metal used from Captain America's shield. And he's based off, he's pretty much from this colony called Wakanda. And Wakanda is technically the golden city, the city of dreams and wonders and, you know, the place that you want to go to so bad and you just want to live there and die there and stuff like that. Like, this place has everything you ever could dream of and is the best place in the world. But it's also run by an organization which is run by the Prince of Wakanda, the Black Panther, a.k.a. played by Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman, when he was first introduced as the Black Panther, was back in the Captain America Civil War, and he did a great job as Black Panther being introduced to this film. I loved Civil War with him in it. It was the only reason that really kept me watching it was just Black Panther and Spider-Man and Iron Man sometimes, too. But uh, overall, Black Panther is just an amazing character in this film, and I love what they did with him from Civil War to now. And it was great. To just This movie was just fantastic to see. I loved it so much. I would see it more than once. And I have seen it twice already. I would probably see it a third time if I really wanted to. And I probably will. Uh, T'Challa has to grow up and become the king. Also be the Black Panther at the same time. But upgrade his suit a little bit. Which is really freaking cool. Moving on to the next cast member in the movie. Uh, my personal favorite villain of all time now is because of Michael B. Jordan, and he plays as Killmonger. Killmonger is pretty much another Black Panther, but just ten times more badass to the core. This man has been a mercenary, a marine, an assassin, you name it, he's done it. He's killed more people than he can count. And his one thing was to always visit Wakanda since he was a boy, because his father was the uncle no his father was the brother of king t'chaka and he was murdered in killer monger's eyes in cold blood ever since his father died and told him the stories beforehand about wakanda his dream was to go to wakanda and rule over wakanda or just pretty much be there but he was left with his dead father and wanted revenge ever since his dream was to find wakanda and kill t'challa and not leave any evidence involved. Moving on to the moving on from that, Killmonger was the best villain development in Marvel Studios I've ever seen in my life. Like Winter Soldier was a great development, but like I wasn't that impressed by it. Uh let's see. Ultron was my still it was still my all-time favorite villain from this from this Marvel universe, but it's been immediately <laughs> changed to Killmonger just because of how well done Michael B. Jordan did this role. And I couldn't have asked for anybody better but him to play this role of Killmonger. But Killmonger is the same thing as Black Panther, just ten times more deadlier and willing to do whatever it takes to win. And this character is awesome. Lupita Nyong'o, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I'm not, plays as Nikita, who is pretty much Chitala's, um ex-girlfriend that he still loves very dearly and she loves him back but she's put her responsibilities for protecting Wakanda and being a spy her whole life over her love for T'Challa 
and Wakanda overall, and she wants to be a spy for the rest of her life. She doesn't want to be a queen. She doesn't want to be a wife. She wants to be what she is now, and T'Challa wants her to be more than that. And for a while, she stays that way until the very end. Denai Guerrera, playing at Koi, or Koyai, or Koyi. I can't really say that name very, very easily. Uh, if you don't know that name at all, uh, she actually plays as Michonne from Walking Dead. And I love her character overall. She's just badass and willing to do whatever is necessary to protect the king, to protect Wakanda. And her character development from beginning to end is just amazing and cool and i just love her so much like i'm used to her having a sand wrestler but with her what what, what she uses a spear best hope you're not at the end of that spear on either side forrest whitetaker also plays a role in this film and he's had a bunch of big roles already well semi big roles in these films like from star wars now into marvel and it's only a matter of time before he goes into freaking dc i can tell you that right now uh he has a role in this film he is the un the uh uncle to the father who is the brother to the king um, T'Chaka and he was saved by T'Chaka from getting killed by his brother and now he has grown older he is like the the referee the witch the wizard the man of wisdom and stuff like that he's just the like third or second hand man to Wakanda and he's a very important to T'Challa and uh, T'Chaka and he eventually well, I probably shouldn't say. But pretty much his character really does a good job of doing what he does, being a really up hype and more referee-ish kind of looking vibe and stuff like that. But he's very wise and has always looked out for the king and his son and his son overall. But he has a dark side for the fact that he was the reason why Killmonger's father was dead and Killmonger wanted to retaliate him as well. Daniel Kaluuya, also playing as Wakubi, who is pretty much uh T'Challa's brother. Um he is the husband of Okoye, and he attends to always, he wants to act more than just say things. And he wants to always, he wants to go out into the world and purge it of all the wrong that's going on and make Wakanda stronger. But Wakanda has never had that culture of war, never seeks out war ever. And he does not like that. He wants a change in leadership. And when he meets Killmonger, is where he actually thinks that there is a change in Wakanda that he wants. Angela Bassett plays as Ramona, and she is T'Challa's uh, uh, mother, and she does a really good job at her role of being uh, the queen of Wakanda, and I love her so much. She's so great at her acting with acting shocked and depressed and sad. I loved her acting overall, and you couldn't have asked for a better queen of Wakanda. Andy Serkis, who plays as Claw, who has been in Age of Ultron, he tends to be a black market uh, weapon smuggler, drug dealer, everything you would hate in a horrible villain. This guy is insane. He didn't have an arm, but now he has a robotic arm, and now he is an even bigger threat to Wakanda for stealing vibranium and killing millions of their people. Martin Freeman, who plays as Agent Ross, and he is the backbone of S.H.I.E.L.D., the backbone of Tony Stark, the backbone of General Ross. And in which case, I feel might be the son or brother of General Ross in some case if you think about it because the last names are the same. But he becomes a very big significant help to Wakanda and the Black Panther and his people. And well, he eventually becomes a really big hero at the very end. And then last but not least, one of my favorite female characters in this entire film was Lydia Wright who plays as Shuri, uh, Chichala's sister. And she is very intelligent, has pretty much all the access to all this equipment to help make Vibranium into weapons of either mass destruction or defense for Wakanda. And she is an amazing character overall. She's funny. She makes all the old memes from 2017 and 16 and 15 come back to life any more funny humor. And it's just great to see that kind of humor in a movie these days. I loved her character overall. Shuri is the best. She is amazing. I, I like her character so much. Really, I do. Through the whole entire movie, you expect so much and you get so much back. And it's so amazing to see a development in such a character like the Black Panther to come to life the way it did. A lot of people can't really understand the concept of cinematography and character development or world development these days, but I do because this one was definitely put into a lot of work. Like they did not hesitate. They did not stretch any part of their budget to a little tiny extent. They went all out and they made this movie look the way that they wanted it to look. They made the skies at night purple and blue and with nice little stars glimmering up the night 
with the trees still setting just perfectly lined up with the sunset and the moon rising. It was beautiful in those scenes and I loved it so much. The uh, the overall development in the character's costume, this, like, like Black Panther's costume, going from the Civil War uh, mark uh, suit to going to the new mark suit, which pretty much he, all he has to do is just summon it and then it'll spread all over his body and it was really awesome to see especially with the fact when he absorbed shock waves of you know punches or kicks or hit got hit by a car or a laser weapon he would absorb that energy and put it back into action just so that way he could defeat his enemies that was awesome oh my god this movie the cgi was wow i i've never seen marvel do so good at cgi before but this one was definitely the best one I've ever seen. I have nothing bad to say about it. It was great. I, I would highly recommend it to anybody who hasn't seen it yet. If you love Marvel movies, you're gonna love Black Panther so freaking much. Like, Thor Ragnarok has nothing on this. And Thor Ragnarok was a glorious film. This movie has officially beaten every Marvel Studios-based movie on the planet so far. And it, it deserves it. It deserves that number one. So what am I rating the Black Panther out of 10? You probably already know. I'm dating that bitch a 10 out of 10. That movie was great. I loved it so much. I highly recommend you go watch it yourself. Cinematography, the camera work, the actors, everything was perfect. It was great. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment below if you enjoyed Black Panther or not. And if you did, be respectful of other people's comments. If you didn't, also be respectful of other people's comments. Please be respectful in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.